Erlen Haaland is back. <laughs> Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video. It's the review of Manchester City versus Ipswich. City getting that 4-1 win and going back to the top of the Premier League again. The Premier League champions are obviously sitting on top for now. Um, but again, a very good game. Obviously, we had Chelsea to start with last week. Um, getting a good win there was always good to start our season off right. I thought that would have been quite a difficult game. Um, obviously, last season, we didn't get too many points against the top six. Uh, but beating Chelsea last week, good start to the Prem. And then this week, first game at home, the return of Ilkay Gundogan. Everything just felt right. And obviously, Ipswich with a team that was unfortunate to meet us this time round. Um I, I backed us completely. I think all of us should have been backing us uh, to win this game. I think a lot of people were going for high scores. 4-1, obviously, not an ideal scoreline for Ipswich. Um, I, th I think they'll t try and take a few positives from that, from what they can find. But it's always difficult, especially for them to come away uh, to Etihad Stadium and come against Manchester City at this current form. Even the team that we've got right now, obviously, uh, today was missing uh, Rodri still out. And then Phil Foden was ill. Um, uh, he got ill in the week, so he couldn't play today. But didn't miss him. Genuinely didn't miss him. There was not one point in the game and I was thinking we could do with Rodri. Now, I'll, I'll stick to the negatives first and we'll go into the positives of the game because Kovacic, not sure on his injury and not sure what the situation is when he came off. Uh, but... Him going off isn't great for us. I'm hoping it's not nothing serious. Uh, I think Pep Guardiola is probably speaking in his conference right now as I'm recording this. So we'll probably find out more on that. I don't. I'm hoping it's not too much because uh, obviously in CDM positions we are light with Rodri being out. But Ilkay Gundogan is back, so it does kind of bring a little bit of balance again because I know he can play that six. But pre that, Kovacic again started really well. He was having a good game. Um, I had no complaints about him. He played really well against Chelsea. Percy, I thought, I know Sky or whatever the broadcaster was in the Chelsea game, they give Bernardo Silva the man of the match, whereas I was thinking, I was leaning towards more of uh, the Kovacic side of the game because I think he was really, really good. And then today he started off really well again. Um, I'm really liking Kovacic in that sixth role. I think he's... We know it takes a lot of players a season to get into it. I thought Kovacic started last year really well. I know he went through a little bit of a period where he dipped and a lot of people weren't favouring Kovacic. Really didn't like him in the side. Was saying it was a waste of money. Even though we didn't pay a lot for him and the experience that he brings is, is incredible. And now I feel like um, this season, I think he'll really show people his qualities. But he's... He's doing well in that six, whilst Rodri's out. And obviously, now that Ilkay Gunnar's back as well, we know he can play there. Uh, so the Kovacic injury isn't great. It's not, it's not the, obviously, I'm not, I'm going to throw this into the bad parts of it. And then obviously, Ipswich's goal. Um, we was fully caught out. Uh, we, we was dominating the possession from the, at the beginning of the game uh, for the first like seven minutes or so. And then they just hit us on a counter. Perfectly timed pass. Uh, beat our offside trap. And I'll recall Lewis. Um, the man got in front of him. Timed his run really well. Rico stops to get in line with the defence to, to try and play the offside trap. But perfectly timed pass. Edison tries to get there. Uh, ends up bobbling underneath him. And it was a slow death. <laughs> it was a slower wait for the ball to roll into the back of the net. Uh, but... That's the negatives out of the way. Do you know what I mean? Ipswich obviously scoring first. I expected Ipswich to sit back and really create a low block and uh, it become really difficult. We've seen that last season a lot when teams get the counter-attackers, get the first goal, sit back, make it really difficult for us. But this game, we just kept finding the space. We dominated the ball, was very patient on it. And I just think the team... Works really well together. Rico Lewis starting again. We spoke. Uh, I spoke on Daps' channel, Never a Foul, um, in, in the week. And I said that I'd... I'd throw Rico Lewis back in straight away. There was a shout for Kyle Walker to get him some more minutes. But the way that Rico Lewis played against Chelsea, I thought he deserved to play again. And today, he, he was... He was really good. Like, it was Rico Lewis again doing the attacking role. I know he's, he's technically playing right back, but in reality, he was very, very far forward. We've seen that he nearly got himself a goal as well, hitting the crossbar. Unfortunately, not to get that. He should have done better, really. But he whomped it and hit the, hit the crossbar. Kevin De Bruyne hit the crossbar literally minutes after that as well. Uh, but... Rico Lewis, really good game going forward. I think he was really pivotal in, in, in that midfield. Uh, got himself involved all the time trying to play passes. I think after he missed that shot, I feel like he didn't really back himself to shoot anymore, so he was always looking for the pass. But he was in around them areas, and, and Percy as an attacking as attacking fullback, I think he'll only get better. A lot of people have said that he's a better attacking midfielder than he is a fullback, but he did show qualities against Chelsea. That's why I'm always referencing the game before. He did show, he did show qualities against Chelsea of the defensive side of his game. So, uh, I I'm really looking forward to Rico Lewis's season. Last season, don't think he got uh, enough game time. Not not the 
kick on season that I wanted for Rico Lewis, but I'm hoping this year is it. And let me know in the comment section below, is Kyle Walker out the team until Rico Lewis messes up? Or are you putting Kyle Walker back in for West Ham, which I think is our next game? Uh, are you going to throw him in there? Are we, try are we seeing the end of Kyle Walker? Don't know, but Rico Lewis is holding down that spot really well. And obviously, he's got his centre-backs. When he goes forward, uh, he's got his centre-backs to slot into those positions. Uh, personally, I think it's a, it's very much on-game basis. I think we'll uh, um, we'll assess the opposition. But like I say, even, even Neto came on for Chelsea. And um, don't remember him doing much. Nico, uh, Rico Lewis did well to deny him a goal. Uh, but yeah, don't remember much trouble. Don't remember much trouble in the last game. And then today, again, I thought he did really well. Uh, bar the goal. By the goal, that's the only thing I could probably say. Um, he's tracking his man, but he does cut back a little bit and he lets his man run across him. Um, but again, it's very, very good time passing that. Um, next up, uh, um, Erling Haaland. What can I even say? This guy is just unreal. It's like having a cheat code. It's like FIFA with sliders. It's mad. And I think... He's, he's getting himself involved more. It's just peak. It's just Erling Haaland. I mean, it's the exact same Erling Haaland that we've been seeing. Uh, last season, I do think he had a frustrating year. Um, I don't think he was missing quite a lot of chances, but I think he took his chances well in this game. His third goal, because obviously he got himself a hat-trick. His 10th hat-trick, I'm pretty sure. And his 23rd career hat-trick, which is insane. Um, his last goal that he scored was unreal. Unreal. And the way that he just turned the ball, first time shot, caught everyone off guard. Unreal finish, bottom corner. Um, and then obviously the... the penalty for his first goal second goal unreal again unreal the ball from Kevin De Bruyne perfectly perfectly weighted and then uh, uh, loops it over the keeper dry heads it over the keeper and then the finish unreal unreal again from Erling Haaland he's like he'll get man of the match obviously but I think we've got to give plaudits to other players like Rico Lewis um, in these kind of games when Erling Haaland defaults to that kind of guy um, I think the penalty was a penalty on the line it's in the box it's a pen obviously VR did that there was a shout for a Ipswich penalty at some point from Savio um, I'm not really sure they read too much into it I didn't really see too many replays on that either um, but all in all, a very, very, very good game. A very good game, and it's setting us up to to start strong. I know usually for the first half of the season with City, we struggle to get into things, or we kind of... It's Pep's experiment time is the first half of the season. I think it's too early to call, obviously. Things can derail pretty fast. But from what we're going off, I think it's a very, very good start. I know people are going, oh, it's only Ipswich, but you can only play what's in front of you. And it was a dominant performance. I think it's a performance that we kind of expected. I think it was good to see Elkai going on the pitch. Obviously, I was gassed to see his return. Unreal. And um, he just slots in, doesn't he? Played it a bit safe at times. You know what I mean, passing the ball, just uh, safe passes and that. But he tried a few things. And uh, yeah, Ilkay going on being back is huge for us. Huge for us. What a signing. What a signing. I, I never in doubt signing Ilkay Gundogan. I wanted him last year. And then, uh, yeah, I was so buzzing when we signed him the other day. And then seeing him come on the pitch, unreal. He'll be starting for us in no time. Um, and I think he's got so much more to give. He's still such a top quality player. Uh, another shout out to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva obviously shifted over onto that right wing spot uh, once Savio went off and uh, Ilkay Gundogan and Grealish came on. Um, and yeah, I think Bernardo Silva again, another good game. Like I say, he got man of the match from Sky for the Chelsea game. Uh, but today, I think again, he stood out. He looked, looked really good. Um, and Kevin De Bruyne doing Kevin De Bruyne things. I just think it was a very, very, very solid performance from City today. It's exactly what we needed. No hiccups against a newly promoted side. Obviously, they would they would have been gassed to be there. Them getting the goal early really, really could have thrown a, a spanner in the works of the plan. But such a quick turnaround. Such a quick... We got that penalty straight away. I think we scored three goals in four minutes. Um, or six minutes. Three goals in six minutes, I think it was. Um, something like that. It, it was a very, very, very short amount of time. And we turned it around to um, like 3-1, which is... Unreal, unreal. I have no complaints from today's match. Um, I'm really, really happy about it. No watch on for today's match because it was a 3 p.m. kickoff. We are working to start out for the next 3 p.m. kickoff. Uh, just today, we had to change providers a little bit uh, and we couldn't get it done in time. Um, I completely forgot that today was a 3 p.m. Um, please get rid of 3 p.m.s. It's not a thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. Can we all just watch football normally, please? Uh, us fake fans, anyway. Uh, but yeah, honestly, unreal game. Really looking forward to it. Looking forward to hearing Pep's press conference, which you can see on our channel. Um, if it's not already up, it'll be up straight after this. Go look at Pep's uh, quotes from after the match. You can see what he's got to say. Hopefully get some Kovacic news and see what um, what his injury lies for us. But really, this game has just got me excited even more for the Prem. Uh, really looking forward to next week against West Ham. Uh, I think they won today against Crystal Palace. Uh, gassed. 
absolutely gassed and we're sitting top of the Premier League. I think for City fans, it's a good weekend, a great way to start the weekend. So enjoy your bank holiday weekend, people. We'll be back with obviously some more content throughout this weekend. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit. <laughs>